Hey SS Beauties, welcome back. So today I'll be doing another wig revamp. I recently uploaded a wig revamp that I did on a shorter wig. If you want to see it, you can tap the link right there. I just put it up there for you. But um, today I'll be doing a wig revamp on a longer wig. Stay tuned. So on all my wig revamps, I always start with shampooing the wig because for the most part, my guests, um, they just wear the wigs and never wash it. So I always start with shampooing and conditioning it. After I got this wig all clean, I went ahead and detangled it because this particular wig actually got matted around the lace closure, <clears throat> excuse me, where the lace frontal met the rest of the wig. Once I finished detangling the wig, I saw that it was a little bit um, wet. It wasn't a little wet. It was really dripping water on my floor. So I went ahead and took the towel and I towel dried it. So in detail, I took the hair, I wrapped the towel around it, and I basically squeezed the water into the towel. Now she is ready for the dryer. If you remember in my last week revamp video, I always sit the wigs under the dryer. It's been about 30 minutes, so she's dry inside and out. So I'm going to go ahead and section her off and do some layers. So if you look at the ends of the hair, and if you think back to when I said it was tangling, they need to come off anyway. Next, I tried to throw some curls on this wig, but as you can see, this hair on this wig does not hold curls. And if I'm not mistaken, this was a machine-made human hair wig that my guest gave me. But um, yeah, anyways, it doesn't hold curls. But I attempted to. So now we're at the top and I'm going to go ahead and hot comb this hair into place. So let's get a little bit closer. Look at this lace here. It was clearly over tweezed and over plucked. So I'm going to probably end up cutting back a little bit. And um, putting the part on the side instead of the center as we saw it before. Just in case you're wondering why I am using a hot comb on the lace closure, it's because I want the hair to go in the direction that I want it to go in. And typically on a lace frontal, lace closure, the hair goes in whatever direction it was vented. Even though the hair isn't curling like I wanted to curl, I still went ahead and um, did curls in the top so it could have a little wavy look when we comb the curls out. And then the top top, I went ahead and put big barrel, like pinned the curls up or whatever. So all in all, I tweaked this wig. I did my thing with it. This is how the curls on the top came out. If you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up. You can leave comments and subscribe.